Hey guys, I'm Bart and welcome back to my channel, iSense, your fragrance download. What's good everybody? I hope that you guys are doing great. And if you're not doing great, I hope you're at least smelling great. And if you're not smelling great, well, maybe I can help you with that. I'm here to tell you how you can smell great at a fraction of the price. So plug in and log on because you're about to get your fragrance download. So guys, thank you for uh, tuning in today and thank you for joining me for this video. Um, first of all, I have to say that uh, this uh, fragrance was offered to me for review and uh, uh, you know, of course, having had previous experience with oil perfumery, I was only too happy to accept. Um, they did offer me several other fragrances. Uh, I have a bunch of them right here. Uh, let's see. Uh, in addition to the Armani Code Profumo that I'm going to be doing the uh, fragrance battle of today, uh, they they sent me a a, ton, a copy of uh, YSL M7 Oud Absolu, uh, something called Atar Mubakar, which is uh, an Atar. It comes from their uh, Arabian fragrances collection. Uh, Chanel Sycamore, uh, Creed's Virgin Island Water. Uh, Joe Malone's Lime, Basil, and Mandarin. Also, Tom Ford's uh, Neroli Portofino Aqua. Uh, Tom Ford Noir. Just the regular version, not the extreme. Uh, something from their own uh, creation. It's called Tokyo Meets Casablanca. I'm looking forward to doing a review on that one. Uh, also, their impression of Terre d'Hermes. I've already smelled that one, and it smells phenomenal and uh, also oil perfumery's uh, impression of Dior Sauvage and I will be doing uh, comparisons for those in the future as well so guys even though the good folks over at oil perfumery sent these fragrances to me so that I could review them for you guys I want to make it clear that that won't hold any sway over my opinion of these fragrances if I like it I'll tell you I, I like it. If I love it, I'll tell you that I love it. And if I don't like it, I'm going to tell you that I don't like it. And also I'll tell you guys that I don't own all of these fragrances that, uh, that they sent me their impression of. I do own some of them and I have some decants of some of them. I'd say about, uh, about a little over half of the ones that I read off. I, either I own it or I have a decant of it. So let's get started with today's fragrance comparison. I have here a uh, 110 ml bottle of Armani Code Profumo and a 10 ml bottle of an oil free pure perfume oil from Oil Perfumery and it's their impression of Armani Code Profumo. Now. I did do a side-by-side -side comparison of these. Uh, I wore it yesterday to see how it was going to perform uh, as far as the projection and the long longevity, uh, the opening uh, and the dry down. Um, so I'm not going to apply this today, but uh, well, what the hell, I'll go ahead and do it. I'm not wearing any fragrance now. So on my left arm, I'm going to put the uh, fragrance oil from Oil Perfumery, okay? Now what you're supposed to do after you apply the oil is you're supposed to just gently rub it in and what that does is that just unlocks all the notes and already I can smell the Armani Code Profumo. This stuff is really good. I mean really good. Alright, so as I mentioned, I did do a side-by-side -side comparison of these two. And in my opinion, the oil perfumery impression is 95 to 98% identical to the original fragrance. Uh, most people who smell this would not be able to tell the difference between these two in a side-by-side -side blind comparison. I would say that eight out of 10 people could not tell you the difference between these two fragrances. 
The oil perfumery version is that damn close, guys. And to my nose, the opening of these two fragrances, it's 99% identical. The only difference between these two being that little bit of sparkle that, the, uh, that you get from the alcohol in the opening. But once the alcohol evaporates and uh, you know that, that sparkle from the alcohol has faded away, basically what you're left with is a carbon copy of the original. So yeah, the, they're, they're so damn close in the opening most people would not be able to tell the difference. Now once the dry down arrives, that's when I start to see the differences between these two fragrances. The Armani Code Profumo, it has a, a very luxurious, uh, leathery, almost peppery note that kind of reminds me a little bit of a peppery tobacco in the dry down. And, and also included in there, you have uh, this really magnificent uh, Tonka and amber notes along with some uh, cardamom and uh, nutmeg to round it out in the dry down. That's the uh, Armani Code Profumo dry down. The oil perfumery dry down is also fantastic. Uh, however, to my nose, the more prominent notes in the dry down of the oil perfumery inspiration is this uh, uh, a really beautiful Tonka bean along with uh, some green apple, cardamom, and nutmeg. And it leaves the wearer with this, uh, this fantastic gourmandish uh, fragrance in the dry down. I do smell uh, the amber and the leather in the dry down of the oil perfumery. I, I do detect those notes in there, but they're not as prominent as they are in the dry down of the Armani Code Profumo uh, version of this fragrance. Um, and I wouldn't say that that's necessarily a bad thing because they are both beautiful dry downs. It's just that the notes that, uh, that really pop for me are, are different. Now, as far as the projection and the performance, uh, for the first hour, uh, yeah, I'd say for, for about the first hour, the projection and the oil perfumery version can and does go toe to toe with the Armani Code Profumo. The Armani projects in the three foot plus range for the first hour, and the oil perfumery version projects in the up to three foot range for the first hour. And after the one hour mark, the oil perfumery version only loses a little bit of ground to the Armani, but only very little. Um, I, would say that, uh, I, I would say that it's marginal. The Armani only pulls away by a very slight margin. It maintains a scent bubble of about two to three feet, while the uh, oil perfumery version uh, pushes out slightly less, in my opinion. It's not quite, the scent bubble isn't quite as, quite as uh, big as the Armani Code uh, version, but it's only slightly, just a little bit. After about the three hour mark, three-ish hour mark, uh, both of these fragrances continue to perform and give you your money's worth with a solid six or seven hours of performance, but gradually becoming more and more of a skin scent after that three hour mark. Now that said, with the incredibly low price of this oil, you can reapply this oil and not have to worry about being conservative with your juice because it's literally one tenth of the price of the Armani Code Profumo. The Armani Code Profumo was $110. I had to pay retail because I got it while I was on vacation in America. Uh, full re retail for this was 110 bucks. It's 110 mLs. This puppy is 10 mLs and it costs $10.95. Um, it'll last a long time. If I was conservative with this, it could last me for a year easily. But if I use it every day, like say, this is gonna be my signature scent for this coming winter, then uh, probably three months, six months maybe on this, this 10 ml. So this is a really great value at literally a 10th of the price of that. 
So guys, I have over 40 fragrance oils from Oil Perfumery, and while I don't think the world of every single one of them, this one right here is a total winner, and it's in a class all of its own. I love Armani Code Profumo, one of my favorite fragrances in my collection, so the fact that this one is about 99% identical, well, 95 to 98% identical, for me this just, this puts this probably in my top five uh, favorite of all of my oil perfumery fragrances. So guys, I gotta tell you a little bit about our uh, oil perfumery. Um, I really believe that they are a great company and I'm not just saying this because they provided me with some with some bottles to review. Um, before they provided me with some bottles to review, uh, I was a regular paying customer just like anybody else and I would, I would continue to be a regular paying customer if for some reason they said, we hate your videos, you suck, we're never going to give you any fragrances to review again. Um, because I just think that they're an incredible value and they're also an incredible company. Uh, to work with. Their customer service is great. They have a really great selection of fragrances. Um, they ship anywhere in the continental United States for just $4.99 uh, flat rate. Um, of course, if you purchase over $50 worth of, uh, worth of fragrances in a single purchase, then the uh, shipping is free, so you don't pay anything for the shipping. And uh, with most orders over $50, they also include a free sample. Um, I read in some of the comments on their website that some people didn't get their free sample with their order. Apparently there was some kind of a problem and Oil Perfumery says that they're working on fixing that. So uh, if you do order over $50 and you don't get your free sample, reach out to them. They're people just like you and me and they're great people. So they'll be more than happy to take, to take care of you. Uh, if they don't take care of you this order, they'll probably get you on the next order. So guys, in conclusion, uh, if you love Armani Code Profumo, or even if you just like Armani Code Profumo, but you don't love the price tag, 110 bucks for 110 ml in full retail, then this, this puppy right here is a no brainer. This is a must buy, okay? Get this juice, guys. You won't regret it. Get this. That's gonna be it for my video today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, feel free to comment down below, and uh, use my code that I'm going to link for you guys down below to receive a 15% discount on your purchase uh, from Oil Perfumery. I hope that you guys are doing great, and if you're not doing great, I hope that at least you're smelling great, okay? Thanks for watching. I sense your fragrance download.